What's up, BG? Today we're doing Clash of Classes. Spelling Bee Edition. I'm Sophia. I'm Sutton. And I'm Loki. Let's, Let's take, take a look. look. Questionnaire. Questionnaire. And there's two N's also. <laughs> onomatopoeia. Ooh. All right, onomatopoeia. O N. One semester later. O P E T I A. That's wrong. <laughs> okay, pneumonia. All right, what is the word again? <laughs> Hold on, bro. Have some trust. P N E U M O N I A. Correct. Let's go. Indict. Indict. Come on, guys. Dude, that's just one. I N D I C T. Oh. Questionnaire. Questionnaire. Yes. Ooh, that's a tough one. How many? Q U E S T I O N N A I R E. Onomatopoeia. Okay, okay, it's Greek. O N O N A T O P I A. No, 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 E I A. O N O N A T O P. E I A or I A. Okay, so our challenge word is going to be the Hawaiian state fish. Which is the humu humu nuku nuku apu a. We're gonna go with SJ. Okay, okay. H U M U H U M U N U K U N U K U A P U A A. Right, right. The state fish of Hawaii, the humu humu nuku nuku apu a. Oh, H U M U H U M U N U K U N U K U. A-P-U-A-A. -A. Yep. <laughs> Are you ready for the best ride ever, Bishop Gorman? Because VGTV is coming at you in five, four, three, two, one. Bishop Gorman. I'm CC Marsh. And I'm Isabella Maldonado. And, and this, this is BGTV. BGTV. Today is Friday, January 27th, and it's Holocaust Remembrance Day, marking a horrible time in our world's history, something neither we nor our leaders should forget. Speaking of leaders, ASG went to Disneyland for their leadership program over the weekend. Sutton, Athena, Alyssa, and Kyla got a few clips explaining what they really do. Let's take a look. Wow, I'm so excited to go to Disneyland. Are you guys excited for the Disneyland Leadership Conference? I'm so excited. Let's go. Thanks girls, I never knew how much ASG really does on their Disney trips. It makes me more thankful we have such a great student government here at the G. Speaking of school, next week is Catholic Schools Week. Abby, Matt, and Gio put together a package to explain the importance of Catholic Schools Week and why we celebrate it yearly. Hey, hey BG, it's Abby and Abby and this next week is Catholic Schools Week. Let's go see what it's all about. Catholic Schools Week is an important part of our community and there are five different themed days that really elaborate more on what it means to go to a Catholic school. On Monday, the theme is community. On Tuesday, the theme is students. On Wednesday, the theme is about the nation. 
Thursday, the theme is vocations, and then Friday, is the theme is celebrating faculty and staff. We got the chance to talk to some Bishop Foreman students about what these things mean to them. Hi, I'm Janine, and I went to Catholic school my whole life, and it's very important to have a community that supports the same beliefs as you do. Hi, I'm Michelle Roberts. I work in the campus store. I'm the store manager here, and I love this place. I love making fun stuff for you guys to wear and having the crest and the BG Cross logo and the, even the oval G. Um, it's just amazing here, even to a cotton thread. I think um, the idea of vocation is very important. You know, some people are called to the priesthood to, you know, be a nun. I actually truly believe that I'm exactly where God wants me at Bishop Gorman. Um, I'm a student here and I'm a product of Catholic education in Las Vegas. So being here and giving back to the community where, you know, I owe so much to. I mean, I think I am the person I am today because of this high school. So uh, being able to give back as a you know, as a member of the faculty and staff is really important, means a lot to me. Hi, I'm Mr. Manfredi. Um, what I uh, love about Catholic Schools Week is that it is an opportunity to um, celebrate everything that we do here at Bishop Gorman and everything um, that is great about our school and our community and our, and our church. In Catholic Schools Week isn't just about our Catholic school, it's about Catholic schools all over the nation. Happy Catholic Schools Week. Wow, now I understand the importance of Catholic Schools Week. Being a Catholic school, there are many ways students can get involved with campus ministry. My favorite way I've gotten involved is going on Cairo's retreat. Cairo's 89 left this past Tuesday, but there is still room to sign up for Cairo's 90. Now that course requests are open for next year, Reg and Kareem, Gage and Nate touched upon some common misconceptions students have about classes offered here at the G. Let's see what they have to say. I'm Kareem. And I'm Nate. And today we're going to be giving you some insight on some classes that you might be interested in taking. Let's roll the clip. My name is Juliana Crawford, or Miss Crawford, and I'm the technical director of the theater here at Bishop Gorman High School. A lot of the folks that end up taking this class had never stepped in a theater before. So I was incredibly proud of them as we got to the uh, winter music extravaganza. So they went from never walking into a theater before to learning how to do properly and uh, the different textures and techniques to uh, create a show. My name is Mr. Dominique. I teach digital photo one and two and graphic design one and two. Um, if you guys are interested in pursuing a career in the graphic arts or just interested in Adobe products, uh, Illustrator, Photoshop, and Design, I would say definitely look into taking graphic design. Um, it's a great way to express yourself digitally, and, uh, work within those programs, and uh, learn a new skill that's very useful. Hello, my name is Coach Gino Di Maria. I teach advanced weight training and weight training here at Bishop Gorman. Um, some of the things about weight training and advanced weight training, the difference between the two is advanced weight training are more for uh, sports specific athlete type workouts. Um, you get a little bit more in progression in the workouts that you do to where in regular weight training, uh, it's for beginners, people who aren't sure about weight training, who want to learn how to weight train. Um, you need to take care of your body. It's important. For you to be successful in life, you have to be healthy, and to do that, you have to work out, you have to eat the correct foods, you have to get the, the correct rest. Um, but it's very important for health. Health is what makes everything go around for you. Nothing comes to your life if you don't take care of your body. Those courses seem so cool. I wish I would have taken them. Yeah, I will definitely be requesting some of those courses for next year. Have you ever heard of the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society? If not, Devin and Kira got the inside scoop on what the society is really about. This year, there are six candidate teams from Bishop Gorman for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society's Student Visionaries of the Year campaign, and each team has their own reasons for why they want to raise money for blood cancer. My why for LLS is to help children with blood cancer, to help them get the resources of Las Vegas, Nevada, and also just making sure that they get the help that they need. For me personally, I'm doing it because of my grandmother who is diagnosed with CLL, commonly known as chronic lymphoblastic leukemia, and she's been battling it ever since I was born. So I've been doing it for her. 
My why for doing LLS is to raise money for blood cancer research and spread awareness because especially in Nevada, our healthcare is not the best and we allow people to have resources and get the help they need. My why for doing LLS is Elena. I hadn't known anyone with cancer before, but once I met her, Hi. <laughs> um, I really just had an incentive for this cause. It is a miracle that I am here today. Um, virtually nobody survives a Richter's transformation of the form that I had for either leukemia or for non-Hodgkin's lymphoma. Through your contributions, through your support for these research efforts, it literally is saving lives all over the world. It's through the grace of God and through the grace of people like yourselves that are contributing and supporting these research efforts that, that I am here today and that so many beyond me and after me will, will be here to do the same thing. The support that LLS has given me throughout my journey is incredible. They are a great society and I love them. Wow, I didn't know the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society does so many great things. Speaking of great things, there's been a lot of great sports going on here at the G. Let's pass the ball over to Gia Smith for sports. Gia? What's up, girls? We've got an exciting week of sports for you today, so let's get right into it. The men's varsity basketball team won against the Cougars with a score of 67-65 to at Cox Pavilion last Monday. On Wednesday, the girls unfortunately suffered a loss against Liberty with a score of 55-78. to Great job, boys. You'll get them next time. Tonight, the boys are headed over to Modern Day to play Heritage Christian at 6. Good luck, guys. We wish you the best. Also, make sure you tune in to ESPN at 9 on Saturday and watch the boys take on San Isidro. Congrats to the women's basketball team for defeating Legacy last Monday, winning 65 to 39. Unfortunately, the girls lost on Wednesday to Liberty with a score of 53 to 57. Make sure you come on out and support as the girls take on Desert Oasis tonight at six in the House of Glory. Now let's take a look at sports outside the G. Ben Vaskoff has more. Welcome to Sports Outside the G. The Vegas Golden Knights lost to the New Jersey Devils in overtime with a final score of 3-2, and the NBA G League Ignite played an away game with, on the 21st with a final score of 114-107. to The Las Vegas Desert Dogs won with a final score of 15-14 to on the 20th against the Vancouver Warriors. And lastly, the NFL playoffs are full in swing with the AFC and NFC Championship games this weekend, with the Cincinnati Bengals playing the Kansas City Chiefs in Kansas City this weekend, and the San Francisco 49ers playing the Philadelphia Eagles in Philadelphia. Thanks, Ben. Our wrestling team has been busy this week, starting off on Tuesday with their senior night, where they won 70 to negative one. Special shout out to our seniors, Ryan Cuckler, Colin Kirkpatrick, Dathan Rodriguez, Alex Fonte, and Ashton Lantman. This past Thursday, they had a duel against Rancho, where they took home the dub with a score of 62 to 18. The Gills are headed over to the Clark Classic Tournament tonight and tomorrow. Make sure to wish them luck. Our men's and women's bowling team has been crushing the competition with a dub on Monday against Rancho and another win against Legacy on Thursday. Great job, guys. The team will be headed over to state in February. Good luck. Well, that's all I have for you this week. I'm Gia Smith. Keep it real, BG. Thanks for catching us up, Gia. Quick reminder, Gales, to like and subscribe to BGTV's YouTube channel. Just search up Bishop Gorman TV to watch today's shows and past shows. Well, that's all we have for you today, Gales. I'm Cece Marsh. And I'm Isabella Maldonado. And this, and this is, is your BGTV. BGTV.